Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to so solve a tough interview scenario that was asked, that is finding out or highlighting your min and maximum sales for your each subcategory. So let us go ahead and you know get started. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to prepare my view so that I can explain you what the user wanted here. I'm taking my category and subcategory and my sales. So I've connected to this sample superstore. So if you see here, we have sales at a category and at subcategory level. And for each subcategory, we have got some sales, right? So in this, I want to highlight my minimum sales and my maximum sales. So if you observe in this for furniture category, minimum sales is 95,000, max is 3,35. Same likewise for office supplies, minimum is for this fastness, which is 88,500, whereas maximum is uh, this 2,24. Likewise for technology, I have got same. Now my intention is to highlight this because that was the question that was asked in interview and this was L2 scenario. Now let us try to solve that. Now first what I'm doing is I'm trying to find my sales at this subcategory level. Why? Because my view is at this level, right? So I'm trying to write a calculation to find out min or max. Okay. And uh, let us do it using fixed delivery. I'm writing fixed. Okay. I need sales at the category and subcategory. So I'm finding it out as sum of sales. Okay. So let us first fix it at this level. And from there, we will try to find out min and max. So I have got this and I'm just trying to drop it here and we have got so if you observe our min and max is same as this because both are at same level right now I need minimum from this okay I'm writing again fixed at the category level I need but I need min from this. Okay, so whatever the calculation you have written or the sales that you have got at this level, category and subcategory, this value will be passed on to this min calculation and you will be getting min value here. What is the min value here? It is 95,000 change, so right? So I'm closing the calculation here. Okay, now if I click on apply, you see, we are getting min here. We are getting minimum here. We are getting minimum here. Done. So I'll just write uh, min for, for subcategory. Okay. And likewise, I'm trying to duplicate my calculation here. And I'm, I will do it for, uh, I'll write now or adjust this for maximum simple. Okay. Okay. And here I'll write as max. Okay and uh, click on apply so if i try to bring this into my view let us validate that also okay now observe our calculation so min for subcategory is giving min value right and max sorry max for subcategory is giving max value so our calculation is working fine. Now, what do we need? We want to highlight these two in our subcategory. That is the actual intention, right? So we have done first step, right? We have calculated bin and max. How can I, how can we do? So for this, what I'm doing is I'm trying to write a flag. Okay. So, and I'm calling that as min or max flag. Okay. Because we want to derive that. So I'm writing a simple uh, if statement here. If my sum of sales is equal to maybe uh, sum of my min for subcategory, which means what my minimum value, right? Then uh, I'm calling it as uh, maybe minus one because it is minimum, right? So I'm calling it as minus one. Else, if my sum of sales is equal to max of this subcategory value then what then i'm calling it as one okay else it is zero for me okay end it so how many values will we get from this you can comment or pause the video here and comment the value here so technically if we try to evaluate you know when the value is matching at this level what is the view uh, our dimension uh, i mean the view level here in the view 
per category sub category we have got sales which means what first this sales will come so this value will be checked against this sum of min so what is the minimum value 95 so 1 lakh 15000 is equal to 95 no so it will go and it will come here because it is zero same likewise it 3 lakh 35 is not equal to this no it will come here again is it equal to this yes then one will be printed okay likewise 95 will come in the first case only it will become true minus one will be printed 2 lakh 80 2 lakh 8000 will come here is it equal to this no is it equal to this no so zero will be printed like this it will be evaluated for each of this okay so now if i click on this apply so total at any given situation you will have three values for this okay now what i am doing is i am converting this into discrete and i will just drop this on my color shelf that's it okay how many values you got minus one zero and one. three values you got right now what do we need to do we need to color it wisely so that whoever is seeing this can understand so zero means what it is of no use for us i mean it is a normal value so i'm converting that into black again so minus one i'll convert that into red plus one i'll convert that into green apply okay so this is how it looks like so now we can remove our minimum value and maximum value from the view now so this is getting highlighted so if you want uh, a more clear view maybe i'll just make it bold and i'll increase the font size so that it is visible to you guys now we are highlighting min and max for each subcategory that way we can solve this scenario very interesting scenario but whenever you get such tough or complex scenarios try to break down into multiple parts that is when you will be able to solve it clearly okay otherwise you'll get into confusion and you might make mistakes i hope this video has helped you gain some confidence and you have learned new concepts if you need more such videos don't forget to like share and subscribe and follow our channel see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day